All right, so today I've made another truck. I've gone and done it again. Um, another truck that has no resistance on it. And uh, right here, another board, I mean. Another board with no resistance. Um, here I've got a Rojas truck, and then of course an OP on the back. And uh, you might be thinking, oh, geez, again? This guy's obsessed with making setups without resistance that ride terribly. Why does he keep doing that? And the reason is because you can tell a lot about the mechanisms and just the behavior of a setup that you just can't see when it's got a whole bunch of resistance padding it out. So it's, it's really worthwhile and I think I've got something really interesting to show you that will, will convince you. Anyway, here's the, uh, here's the custom Baltic birch bushing I've made for the Rojas. And it just has it just has slots for these two pins. See so the back of the pin there. And it travels through the slot and it just stops it so it doesn't get wheel bite. Um, while allowing it to move freely. And um, it flops around a bit, but not not as much as I thought it would. Um, and of course you have the OP over here. This is um, a lot looser. I, I just loosened this all the way up. Um, it's a lot looser than it would normally be, um, as this is as is this one, of course. <laughs> but like I said, I found out something pretty cool. So let me show you. So if you've seen on my other videos, you should know that a normal truck, like the Rojas in the front, has a lowering center of gravity in a turn, and that it's unstable, and that the OP, well, um, it's inherently unstable. Um, especially when it has no resistance. Um, and then the OP um, has a raising center of gravity and it's inherently stable even without resistance. So you can see here, with them mounted together, I can tip lean the deck over and it still has the same, the system has the same in inherent stability as the OP truck. So it's like, okay, that's pretty cool. So, so it's, um, should be more rideable than the Ronin board without any resistance. So let's push this down the hill and see what happens. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna start it into a turn. And you remember, long boardings are self-correcting, so I'll try to self-correct, and we'll see what it does. And look at that, that is, um, that was pretty exciting. You see, it did eventually destabilize, but what's kind of crazy is this is um, this is actually really unstable. This is a really shallow hill. If it's a steeper hill, I can actually just let it down, going straight, and it'll eventually pick up enough speed. It will develop wobbles um, without doing anything, uh, which is pretty crazy. Um, the Ronin board didn't even do that, but that was of course because um, this thing has a bearing in it. So there's very little resistance, whereas the Ronin had the resistance of the, the, the support pin and the pivot cup. And it had the really soft um, pivot cup. So. so that was a little bit surprising when I did that. I was like, huh, shouldn't it be stabilized by the OP? You can see that. It has a return to center, so why is that not doing anything? Um, but then I tried it again, happening to have the board in the other direction. And check this out. If I start the board in turn, like before, and kick it out. See how quickly that thing stabilized again? And when I went to ride it, I realized that it was extremely rideable so long as the Rojas truck was in the front. And it's still really loose, don't get me wrong. But it's really rideable. I could do this with a camera in my hand, and I couldn't have done that with the uh, with the, with the Roman trucks, when I had the no resistance on those, when it was just the two Romans. Which is, is, which is, which is essentially 
it's essentially the same experiment. I could do this with Ronin's or any other, um, any other 45 degree uh, traditional single pivot truck. Not to say that the, this is better than the, than the Ronin's were, it's just that um, the last time I tried it and I had two loose kingpin trucks like this, they happened to be two Ronin's. Anyway, but that was extremely interesting because when we had the stable truck on the rear, because the OPs are stable, inher inherently stable, inherently unstable. And the whole, the deck seemed to inherit its characteristics, its stability characteristics from whichever truck was on the rear. So if the OP was on the rear, it could ride very stably. Whereas if it was the Rojas on the rear, which is inherently unstable, um, as any single pivot truck is, then it was extremely unstable. And it, it kind of blew my mind. So it was just an extremely interesting experiment. And it just kind of goes to show a little bit about, um, show a few things that we didn't know about stability. And, uh, it's a little counterintuitive considering we know that you want your weight to be on the front truck when you're in a tuck. So if you want your weight on the front, but you want your rear truck to be stable, uh, you would have, you, I would have thought that you'd want the front truck to be st the most stable because that's the one your weight's on. But it seems to be the very opposite to that. Anyway, so this is a lumbar technology over and out. Hopefully you'll tune in next time and we'll have some other cool, fun things to discover. Wait a second. Yeah, I was gonna say, uh, you're backwards. I'm gonna go for it! <laughs> <laughs> that looks much better. We're gonna get him on a skateboard? <laughs> That's how we can on here, Ollie.